Alrighty guys, today on the video we are going to be doing um, these boards here. Just going to be some painting. So I thought it would be a little different for you guys to enjoy. So, yeah. Sadie, dinner. Where's food? So we got here white paint, some boards sitting outside. Let's see how this goes here. We're just repurposing. So we got our white paint here. Get this at your local store for about 20 bucks. Ooh. This is the color that we're going to be using. First, dust it off. We got plenty of these. So. I'm gonna want to do this so that Basically this brush is just going to be used to dust it off and whatnot. And we're going to grab another brush and use it to paint. These have been sitting in the garage for a little bit. lid back on it, set this aside. All right. Let's see how this goes. This is gonna take me a while, it looks like. Maybe, possibly. What's nice about this is that it'll actually make 
make the um, wood a little bit smoother. And this one is meant to be outside, so this paint. So we'll see how it holds up. This is the perfect sized one for your typical picket fence. So we're gonna have to do two coats it looks like. But good thing it's not. That's looking nice. Dabbing it helps too to get all of it in there. And just go right over it, it looks like. Now, if you notice any splinters, if you have dogs or kids, try to take them out this will soak into the wood I was told so we'll see how good it is these are just old picket fences out of the garage And we got three more of these to do. So. We're going to be turning the Rager Fit channel probably into more, more than what it is now. So if you like that idea, please put a thumbs up. It might be more projects, you know, more about my life. Who knows? Maybe just some home projects. There we go. It seems to dry pretty dang fast. So that's good. All right? Nice little project here. Now if you're wondering what kind of paint I used, it is the I don't even know how to pronounce that. But it's for exterior and it can contain moisture from the rain. So the rain won't ruin the paint. 
That is why I buy it. Okay, so we're gonna set this one off to the side. Work on the next one. Again, we are just gonna dust it off with our original here. I know what you might be asking, Angel. Why aren't you sanding these bad boys? Well, and that's because I didn't get sandpaper. And I figure they're just going to be outside. So, the paint will kind of help not be so dangerous. I would hope. This one's a nice one. Here. If we had like four more of these, we would have been set. Ooh. first so let's do that this one I feel like it's gonna need quite some paint so this one looks a little bit rougher than our first one so we'll see how it goes here It is a nice day out here in Colorado. Look at that. Looking nice, isn't it? It's looking really nice. Look at that. Pretty soon here we'll check on our drying one.
if you guys like this kind of stuff, let me know what I can build and I'll build some other stuff or paint some other stuff within reason. So long as you guys put that down in the comments below. If you guys need help building something or need some instruction because I actually come from a background where my family does build. Uh, my grandpa owns a cabinet company and I learned a thing or two. So that's looking nice. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Look at that. How's that look? Look good. Let's get the top here a little bit because that wasn't too good there. We'll let this one sit. Let me grab the last one. Ah, actually, let's go pull off another picket. So why don't you guys come with me for that? While these ones sit. So let's go out to the garage here and put this out on the picket because that one, I mean, it's good, but it's splitting. So we really need one or two more that aren't splitting. So let's grab one here. You guys can sit right here. This one looks like it's gonna split, as you guys can see. So let's see if we got any other ones up in here. This one don't look too shabby. Let's see if we can get it off. Guys, let me go grab a proper tool for that. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. When you don't have a crowbar, apparently, and you're just just a hammer and uh, one of these bad boys. Can't believe we do not have a crowbar. It's very interesting. So I guess we will be using that probably. We do got a hammer now. Let's see if we can just knock these things right off. Here. I guess you guys would like to see what I'm attempting to do with my life. That worked. That worked. This one doesn't look damaged. Looks pretty good, so let's get these nails out. So let's pull this straight out here, guys.
Now if you don't want to damage your wood, this is actually a great option. So what you do is just pull it down and over. See that? Put it down and just do, comes right out. Least amount of damage on both sides, guys. So let's try to get one more here. Remember to pick up your nails because I hate when people leave their nails down and then it pops tires and all that stuff. So just be mindful. Don't just throw them anywhere. Make sure they actually make it into the trash cans. We will need one more board, so again, caution for the loud noise. Sorry. But here we go. Oh, that one split. Let's try to get one more. Maybe we'll try a different method here. Maybe a There we go. We got one side out. Let's get this other side out. It's pretty much out, guys. This one is a nice one. So we'll be using this one and that one. Let's get these nails out. And pop. 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 And pop. All right. Let's go back to painting. So these are two wonderful boards. So let's go back over. So that's pretty simple. Got our two nice boards here. And we're going to, we're gonna do this. Paint these and then we should be good to go. We should be good. Let's take a look at our ones that we've painted. Still wet, but looking good. Almost done. I would put them out in the sun, but not too much more sun left. So we'll put you guys right back here where you guys could see the magic happen. 
There we go. Alright. Take this off. Same method. First, we're just gonna dust everything off. One side always seems to be a little rougher than the next side. Okay to have some, I guess. But let's try to get them all out. There we go. That's looking pretty spiffy. All right. All right. It's looking pretty good. So let's paint this side first. Then we'll get to the other side. So. Paint's actually doing pretty dang good. Very happy with it, considering how much it costs. But if you're on a budget, I would definitely go to like Walmart or something like that. I'm definitely on a budget. But um, I was just lazy and didn't want to go to a different store. So, and this one's literally down the street from my house. You live in your life. That's what I like to say. There we go. It's looking good. We're gonna need to put some more paint in there. Looks like. Last little bit here. No, I guess I'll pour some more in. <clears throat> I knew that dabbing would look better than most of the techniques. <clears throat> Get these covered. Now we are doing all sides of this. So. Ah. Alright, let's get some more out here. here in five fine print it'll be fun right <laughs> I guess I'll give them some options on fence boards since we do have one more than we need just in case you always want one or two more just in case something doesn't go right you know that's looking good that looks great look at that what do you guys think good yeah all right let's put this one over here to dry for a little bit I wish there was a way on the cell phones, since I use my cell phone to record 
hope the audio is okay. I am trying to get a mic for my phone, so if you know any good mics for the phones, put it down in the comment section. All right, guys. This is another great board that we have here. Our last board, to be exact. If you see any long ones, like um, like this, you know, something like that. If you guys could see that, uh, try to get them off because that will leave splinters and doggies and children, stuff like that. So if you see that, try to get them off. All right, that side looks good to me. This side is looking excellent. Wow. I feel like this is the best board out of all of them. Some minor imperfections, but what is it without a little bit of minor stuff, right? All right, so let's paint this side. I feel like we have plenty in here for this at least. You don't necessarily need to get the holes, but it is nice, but whatever floats your boat is what I like to say. Make sure you get the tip, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <coughs> This is a nice longer video for you guys, so it really shows the process here. And I am not editing this one, so we're keeping it true. I'm the one YouTuber that keeps it straight up for as long as it takes as everything. You guys could definitely skip some parts if you want, but There we go. That's looking great. Wow, look at that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that went on so nicely. So if you guys have TikTok, and I do of course, or else I wouldn't be bringing this up, but I have been noticing people, especially from Colorado, doing that whole Colorado check, and they put music to it, of course. So I think some of the places here in Colorado are pretty dang cool. There's some places you see, and it's like, Wow, like, it looks so amazing, and then when you actually go there, it doesn't look like that. Everything that's kind of weird, I don't know, it's kind of on my mind lately, since those videos have come out. There we go. Oh, man. I'm wondering if these are only going to need like one or two coats. Is this looking pretty dang good? We'll see by tomorrow. Or something, but. Yeah. Ah, we'll wait to do the sides, I think. Yeah. Maybe I'll do the tippy toppy here. Guys want to see the only part that's white on the tippy toppy. There we go. All right, we'll let these sit here. We could probably go back to the first one. 
that we did, which is right here, and uh, start painting other sides. So why don't we do that? Because these shouldn't take that long to dry. And of course, I just stuck my finger in the paint. Oh, leave it to me, right? Oh wow, that actually came out pretty dang good. It definitely needs a little bit longer to sit, but we could definitely paint the other side. Hold on, let's take a clean finger. Eh, pretty much dry. That's what I expected. So let's flip it over here. We'll see. We just won't push too hard. So let's get this other side painted. And then we'll put them up straight. I think. Oh, yeah. Oh. You guys want to take a look at the view? I'm going to tilt you up here. Look at that. That's what I have to look at. Isn't that great? Definitely one of the nicer days out. I just kind of got into my own mind here. Just focus on painting for a little bit. I'm going to skip you guys to about a little later. Now we're on number two. The other one is over there drying, as you can see, kind of. So, uh, yeah. So just make sure on the other side you got... You know, like I said, most of the big things off. You know. All right, let's start painting this baby. So, should have maybe brushed it off, I guess, a little bit. Just wanted to skip that step because it's starting to get a little bit darker here. That'll be all right. Go with the grain, go with the grain, go with the grain, go with the grain. No? Nobody else have that life? <gasps> oh, okay, I thought I... I thought I got it on the table. I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but... Try to keep my sights clean. All right. Make sure those are... That paint, alrighty. That looks wonderful right there. All right, let's move up the, move up this tree here. I guess it's not really a tree no more, but you know what I mean. All right, let's paint this. I'm so happy I haven't gotten paint on myself yet. That's normally what happens by now, is that I'm normally covered in paint. There, that little bugger. All right, just add that section. There we go. It's better with these uh, ones that have like a lot of uh, splinters in them to uh, make sure you kind of have a lot of paint on it, so it kind of glides right over, so it could soak in. You know what I mean. 
And then you just go back down with the edge here, down the grains, so you can get them all grained up, if you know. <laughs> Burr delicious. Boom. Bada boom, bada bang, is what I like to say. All right, so we can let this one dry. Bada boom, bada bang. Now, these other two over here have not quite dried yet, because I just painted them not that long ago. Now, yes, I just pulled out a splinter. But I guess we could turn you guys around and you guys could take a look, see here. It has been 41 minutes. So fun. So let's take a break. And um, yeah.